All right, next up on the bench. Now, I, I already have a video on a 737 where I did an LED upgrade, but I really didn't go into much detail on how to do that. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing um, basically two things. No, so number one, I'm going to go into the details on how to get to the lamps and how to, how to change them out. Um, looks like my dial pointer light is out. And this is one I just got out of the box. I don't even know what's wrong with it. So, But there will be a follow-on series with this. Um, what I'm also going to do is I have received, I ordered and purchased some new LEDs. And I'm trying to get these to where I can kind of show you the different LEDs. Right, so we have kind of the traditional three light LED on the right, and then a new um, variation with a diffuser. So supposedly what this will help prevent are hot spots. So right now you can see that the lamps in this thing are fine. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna take you through changing the lamps, and then we're going to do kind of a, a side by side. So we'll have this is going to be the, the before with regular incandescent lamps. Then I'm going to do the, and they're going to be cool blue because I want to really accentuate the difference. Then we're going to do the cool blue kind of traditional three light LED. And then we're going to use the diffused LED and do kind of a comparison. I'm going to try to get uh, kind of a, a snapshot of you know one, two, and three right next to each other. So what I'm going to do now is um, we're going to take this apart, a couple screws on the side, all the knobs come off. Uh, there are probably going to be a couple of screws, you know, holding some of these, uh, holding the faceplate in. The um, tuning knob will have to come off, and that should just be a pop-off, and then the knobs will come off. So I'm not going to film that because, uh, or record that because that's basically pretty simple. So uh, I'm going to move the camera, take this apart, and then we'll, we'll come back around to where the camera is up on top. Okay, so we're up top. Uh, one thing you want to be very, 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 very mindful of and careful about is to not break the dial pointer. You break that dial pointer, you can try to glue it back, but you'll ne it'll never be as bright as it was, and they're kind of, they can be difficult to find. So you want to make sure that you are very, very mindful and careful to not break the dial pointer. So first, what I like to do is I move the dial pointer out of position and then I kind of work on the opposite end. I'm going to take this bracket off here first. So we'll remove this bracket. And then move the dial pointer. Remove this screw on the other end of the bracket. And I'm sure there are many different ways to do this. This is just how I do it. And then you have to carefully slide this bracket out. Now you can pull up a little bit on the dial pointer and kind of slide it. Um, you can flip it and then twist it. So it's sitting like this, so what I do is I kind of flip it around this way and then it'll slide out. But you want to be careful not to scratch the face and not to damage that dial pointer. So then what, what I do is I will move the dial pointer to either end. I'm going to put a hand here, finger here, and then just slowly and carefully kind of move the face, kind of pry the face off. There's some adhesive, so you just want to go very slowly. You don't want to crack the face, right? And then just kind of move it. Sometimes I'll use one of my little pry tools, kind of get down in there to um, separate the face from that adhesive. It's just, kind of, it's double-sided tape is what it is. So, kind of go like this. Again, I'm going to push this in. I don't want that dial pointer to, I don't, or I don't want the face to come out and hit that dial pointer. So then I will move the dial pointer to the other end. And then same concept here. And again, I'm pushing in here. I don't want to have this fly forward and break that. And then once I have the tape loose, I can carefully right, kind of slide this off. Now you can also, if you are able to, slide the dial pointer 
and move it back. Um, the only problem with this is you have to be mindful of where that pointer is. So again, you gotta just be careful and make sure that it is in a safe spot and you don't inadvertently, I mean this thing is super fragile, you don't want to inadvertently just tap that or hit it or anything. And then it's simply a matter of pulling the old lamp tilt. See the lamps, oops, in the silver. Sorry, I was sitting on my, my solder. So there are the lamps, right? And what I do is I just take a wooden dowel Sometimes I'll need to use some really long needle nose pliers and I'm going to pop those out, pop the new ones in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop these out, pop uh, the three light LEDs in, do a quick evaluation, kind of look at the hot spots, and then pop those out and put the new ones in. I'm not doing the meters yet because I want to go with whatever um, kind of looks the best. So uh, I'm going to pop those lamps in. Or pop these out, put the lamps in, and then we'll uh, we'll take a pick. Okay, so again, I've done the dial lamps, but I have not done these uh, the indicator lamps there. Um, it's not it's not super evident, but you can kind of see hot spot, hot spot with the naked eye. It's not horrible, but you can see some hot spots where the lamps are. Um, I'm not sure what this will look like. Typically, it looks a lot worse. Um, when I go to edit this and I see it on the screen, but I can definitely see a hot spot at 88. I can definitely see one at 108. It looks like 104 and 102, maybe 98 and 100, 92, 94. So I, I can see the hot spots. They're not horrible, but I can definitely see them. So now I'm going to pop these out. I'm going to put the other lamps in and we'll see uh, how much different it is. See if it's uh, not as bright or if the hot spots are not as noticeable. Okay, so here are the diffused LEDs. And I'll have to, when I edit this, I'll have to look at the video and see if I can see a difference because to me it kind of looks the same. I can still see kind of a hot spot at 88. Not so much at 108. So it might be marginally better. Um, definitely not a day and night difference. Um, I don't know, it might be a little bit smoother. Uh, it's really hard to tell. But uh, again, you you may see it differently when I when I go to edit this. So um, yeah, those are the difference. So this is the diffused LED. Now, naturally, if I were keeping this, I wouldn't put cool blue, and I just thought cool blue would really accentuate the differences. Um, I would put uh, warm white in and uh, kind of keep this the traditional green color rather than go bright blue. But as I mentioned in other videos, people really like the bright blue. So anyway, uh, I'm going to keep these in there. What I'll probably do though, just because I have the uh, the other LEDs out, I will replace the two dial LEDs with um, with the uh, with the three dot ones. And uh, what I'll do is I'll actually show you that. So let me actually put the um, let me put that bracket back on, put the uh, dial pointer back down, and then I will uh, show you how to replace those uh, the two um, meter meter LEDs. Back up top, so here are where the lamps live. I believe on this one, it's just the single screw. And then that panel kind of tilts either up or back and then you can pop the new LEDs in. Again, I'm going to, just cause they're out, I'm gonna use a couple of these cause there's, the lamps are directly behind the meters, so. Um, hot spots aren't as much of an issue. All right, and I can actually just pull them out with my fingers from behind. So, or, well, maybe not. So, anyway, here's what I'm doing. Just gonna pop them out and replace them with the new. All right, so there you have it. So I've got the traditional three lamp LEDs here. I've got the diffused LEDs there. Um, so I don't know, uh, you know, I'm gonna flash up a picture on the screen of a screen capture of all three. Um, at least real time to my eyes, the diffused may be slightly better. Obviously you're looking at the screenshot of all three side by side now. You know, uh, maybe it's more apparent. So it'll be the uh, 
Uh, incandescence on the left, the, uh, the traditional three bulb LEDs in the middle, and then the diffused on the right as you're looking at those three images. So uh, take your pick, which one looks better to you. Uh, there will be a series on this. It won't be released until later. I'm adding this to the queue early for uh, the viewer that, uh, that specifically asked for it. So, so anyway, which, what do you think looks better? Leave a comment. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.